So, now here we will talk about some other topic ok. So, uh, you might have observed that when you are in an empty room ok, a room which is totally empty vacant and if there you shout very loudly ok, then you will hear echo or you know the best example if you have been to you had been to some you know uh, uh, area uh, like hilly areas ok, uh, where the echo points are there. So, if you go to that egg particular if you uh, go to that echo point and then you shout very loudly you take your name. So, within no seconds within no time you will listen your own whatever you say your name your whatever you say that back is not it. So, what it is children and why is it. So, this is known as echo what is known as echo that when you can hear your own sentence again when your own sentence is repeated again that is what echo and why does it happen children because of the reflection of the sound. So, uh, as uh, we have read in the light chapter that light get reflected ok light get reflected and uh, in the same way even the sound get reflected. But you know there is a little difference for the reflection of light uh, for the reflection of light you know the surface should be very shiny it should be smooth ok. Then the light get reflected very nicely, but for the uh, reflection of sound all these things are not at all necessary that means sound can get reflected from any kind of hard substance ok. It should be very very hard ok uh, and it is not at all necessary that the surface uh, has to be very shiny no. It can uh, it can reflect from the it can get reflected from the rough surface also. Now, uh, when uh, I am saying that the sound uh, sound gets reflected and uh, we can hear but there is little difference between the reflection of the sound and the reflection of the light. So, how these reflection takes place actually when we speak ok, when we speak and is if the sound reaches to a point which is very hard it can come back and the gap between the between this two between the speech and the coming back it should be at least what it should be at least 0 0.15 second ok at, le at least it should be 0 0.15 second. So, if you want to hear the hear the echo there should be difference of what 0 0.15 second see we are talking about what now children we are talking about reflection of sound. we are talking about reflection of sound ok. So, what is the meaning of reflection of sound as the light get reflected ok. This is the normal ok this this one is what plain ok. Now, this one is what children this one is incident uh, <coughs> incident wave ok and this one is incident what angle. Now, as soon as it reaches over here it get reflected and this is what reflected angle angle r ok. So, it will be like this. So, this one is what normal this one is incident and this one is reflected ok. Now, I am talking about the light when this incident ray comes over this point it will be reflected in this way and then it will be known as what reflected ray. But in case of sound we do not say ray ok. What we will say the incident sound wave and reflected sound wave ok. So, here also sound also get reflected get reflected back 
when it come across any hard substance why i am saying hard again again because the soft substance is not a good reflector okay the soft the soft substance is not a good reflector and what will happen if the sound reaches the soft substance it will rather absorb the sound okay the soft substances absorbs the sound and do not reflect the sound do not allow the sounds to get reflected so whenever sound wave reaches a hard substance it get reflected this can be known as sound what incident sound wave here this one is reflected wave okay now even the laws are same that this two should be uh, you know rather we'll uh, talk about one experiment and then we will talk about that what does uh, the experiment tells and how does this again get proves that angle i is equal to angle r so first of all i'll write the definition of reflection the bouncing back of a sound wave when it reaches a hard substance okay the bouncing back of a sound wave when it reaches a hard substance is called as reflection okay it is called as what children it is called as reflection now okay so now we will talk about the gap okay if see by the experiment it is proved that the human ear can identify two different sounds okay human ear can identify two different sounds only when there is gap of 0.1 second okay human ear can understand or can hear can hear two different sounds two different sounds only if there is difference of 0.1 seconds between them okay so what is reflection children when the sound wave reaches to a point and again what what is happening it is it again goes back okay it again goes back that is what is known as reflection the bouncing back of a sound wave the bouncing back of a sound wave when it reaches this one is very very important when it reaches a hard substance why not a soft substance children because a soft substance are not good reflectors rather they will absorb the sound and will not reflect the sound okay now if you want to hear the echo if you want to hear the echo between the two voices the gap should be how much children it should be 0.1 second if the uh, you know if whatever you are saying it comes back before this time before this time then you won't be able to hear your sound again then it will be one sound only so when can you hear two different sounds your sound and echo when there will be difference between what between the two will be more than 0.1 seconds okay so human ear can understand or hear two different sounds only if there is difference of 
one second. Means if the difference is uh, 0 0.1 second, then the person can hear the echo. Okay. Now we'll talk about the loss of the uh, sound now. Okay. So now what are the laws of the uh, laws of light children? Same are the laws of the sound also here in this case children. So what are the laws? First one is so one wooden plank has to be taken. Okay. Now here one you know the perpendicular plank has to be kept over here. Okay. It should be standing in the standing position. Okay. Now on the opposite side okay, this is a wooden plank here one uh, perpendicular uh, again a piece of a wood has to be kept. Okay. Now to this side we have to keep one pipe and here also to this side also we will be keeping one pipe. Actually this instrument is available in the uh, laboratories you know it is there in the school laboratories. So this is what a wood plank here the two pipes are there which are of exactly same size width uh, everything is same. Okay. Now at one point of the pipe we will keep a clock okay. maybe a stopwatch even okay, a stopwatch which can a stopwatch which any, any watch any clock which makes the sound. Okay. Now before starting the experiment here one again a wooden plank has to be kept okay, which can be kept here that means the plane of the three becomes one okay. as the plane of all these three lines incident sound wave reflected sound wave and normal becomes one in the same way one plane has to be kept here one plane wooden uh, piece which makes the plane of this three one. This is what our now this one is our perpendicular wooden part which is standing okay. on both the sides two tubes are there uh, tubes means obviously hollow from inside. Now here one stopwatch is placed or any kind of clock or watch which produces sound. Now what has to be done children? Now we will keep this one fix, we will not move this, okay. we will not move this and this part we will move this and bring it to different different angles, maybe 20 degree, 30 degree, 40 degree. Okay. This one is obviously fix. Okay. Now and you can measure the angles between this and this. Now this one is fixed we are not moving it we are moving this and you have to keep your ear on this side and then you have to find out when uh, you know at what angle you are able to hear the voice uh, or the uh, sound not voice the sound of the clock properly. Again we will discuss this whole wooden plank is there. Okay. Now on this wooden plank children one perpendicular wood piece is kept on both the sides of this wooden piece are two tubes okay. tubes means hollow from inside from which you can the, the sound can pass very easily. Now at the one end of the tube a clock which produces uh, sound has to be placed watch can be like it can be any watch. Now here one again uh, one piece has to be kept so that all three things can come in one plane okay and one plane it should be now this point you have to 
keep your ear that means you have to keep your head and you have to hear now when the sound begins from this point children when the sound begins from this point you will keep adjusting it to all different different points okay and finally you will understand now suppose this one is mango uh, is making 30 degree angle okay here between the angle between this perpendicular wooden plank and this tube is 30 degree then you are making you know you are making changes of the angle over here maybe 10 20 30 40 50 but you will finally understand then that if this pipe is at 30 degree and when you bring this pipe also at 30 degree angle then only you will be able to hear the sound very perfectly very clearly ok we do not have to go in much detail because it is given in your syllabus on the very superficial level so just this one is quite enough for you to understand that again this is the incident sound wave this is the reflected sound wave ok this one is the normal this one is the plane and again what happened angle i ok and angle i is equal to angle r that means if it is 30 degree it will be also 30 degree and then only the sound which is produced will be heard properly ok and that is the law ok law says that all this three ok all this three should be in one plane what all three should be in one plane children normal incident and reflected sound waves should be in one plane so it is here also all three are in one plane that is the reason this was kept over here ok now second law says that angle of incidence is always equal to the reflected one here also by doing the experiment we, we have proved that when angle of incident angle angle of incidence is equal to uh, reflected angle then what happens when the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection or reflection and incident are equal then what happens children then the maximum sound of the watch or the clock can be heard ok so why I was saying that we will talk about the laws after discussing this uh, experiment because now it will be very clearly uh, it can be understand uh, it can one can understand very clearly that this is a wooden plank one wooden plank is kept here ok two pipes are set and here one uh, clock or watch is kept which produces sound and here we have to we have to hear from this side so you keep on moving only one side this one this one is fixed you fix any angle you will automatically reach to a point when both the angles are same then only you will be able to hear perfectly ok that means the sound will be the sound heard will be maximum maximum at that particular point ok so this is again proved that these laws which are correct for the light also are equally correct for the sound also ok so just uh, this is what reflection now we will talk I will just write the laws of the reflection and also what is the meaning of the echo so what is this children just a quick just reflection of sound what is the meaning of reflection of sound the bouncing of what the bouncing back of a sound wave when it reaches a hard substance ok the bouncing it is coming over here and bouncing back over here ok so the bouncing back of a sound wave when it reaches a hard substance is called as reflection ok now human here can understand uh, two sounds only when the minimum gap is what 0 0.1 second if the gap is lesser than this then we cannot hear the echo now what are the laws of reflection that we will talk just I will clean up this so laws of reflection children laws of reflection so what is the first law angle 
of incident sound wave and reflected sound wave is always equal okay and what is the second law children that the the incident sound wave the reflected sound wave and the normal and the normal are always in same plane okay so what are the laws of reflection of what sound angle of incident sound wave and reflected sound wave is always equal the incident sound wave the reflected sound wave and the normal all three will be always in one plane okay so this this is what actually the laws of light also this is what incident sound wave this is reflected sound wave and these both are exactly equal here also in the experiment also when the angle was equal both the cases when in both the cases when the angle was of 30 degree then the maximum sound was heard okay so this is all about what reflection of sound so now only one thing is left now how to define echo what is echo so the repetition of sound okay the repetition of sound is only what echo that, uh, that is what which we hear when we go to some hill station or some uh, hilly areas or maybe in the vacant or the empty room so what is happening children the reflection takes place and that is only what echo is so what is echo the reflection of the the repetition and the reflection of the sound is echo okay so now we will move to the next topic